Building a workout routine is an important step towards achieving your fitness goals. To have consistency in the gym, you have to build a routine that works for you. Your routine should reflect your current lifestyle and not what you see on TikTok or Instagram. So take that spin class, babe, or the walk, whatever suits you, and let's tap into it. go for a run. I have not run outside. I'm sorry. The lighting is really piss poor right now. I have not gone for a run outside in so long. One of my intentions this month was to increase my cardio and I really want to stay true to that. I used to run outside so much. In fact, I feel like running is what really leaned me out the most last year. So, now that the weather is getting so much better here in Austin, it's starting to feel like spring and I'm so happy about that. It's time to start running again and increasing that cardio and getting outside because I do want to run a 5k this year. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how I'm building a workout routine for success, how I'm building a workout routine that sticks. Working out three to four times a week was my initial goal. That is a very small goal, but I was hitting it week after week after week and it just built my confidence so much. <sighs> I'm about to stretch because we can't go on a run without a stretch. And yeah, I'm so nervous. I'm just doing a mile. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm about to go run a marathon. <laughs> Running outside is so different than running on the treadmill. It's just so different, so I'm nervous about this. We're about to get it. We're about to go. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. I'm excited. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, baby. As long as I can serve you with my love As long as I can turn into real beast mode
talk to you guys about my run real quick. That run was not that hard. Once I started, I felt so good. I felt so energized. Like I didn't feel like I needed to stop. The thing that stopped me were my freaking shin splints. I have the worst shin splints. I've always had this issue in the last couple of years. I don't know why. I stretch so well. I make sure that I'm really hydrated. I don't know why I deal with this, but it hurts. Like it's literally like painful it feels like i'm about to fall over if you know any remedies for shin splints and what i can do also my running shoes are not it anymore i need some new shoes and let me know your recommendations for running shoes because i cannot believe i used to run with the shoes that i was running with today i used to run with those shoes all the time today i was like i need some better quality running shoes if I'm gonna make this a thing, baby. Because I feel like because I've been running on the treadmill so much and like keeping my stamina up that way, it wasn't that hard. Like I thought I was gonna die today, but it literally wasn't that hard. But one thing that really helps me like really keep my fitness routine going, keeping it to stick in place is by switching things up. Like I am not the type of person that can work out and do the same workout every single day. In this vlog alone, I went to my big box gym, I went to solid core, I went on a run. Tomorrow we're probably gonna go back to the big box gym in the morning. We're waking up at 4.30 a.m. and heading to the gym at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I like switching things up, it makes me so happy it makes me feel so productive it makes me not get bored with what i'm doing that is one way that really like helps me but yeah guys i need a shower i am disgusting right now and yeah i'm just thinking about ways to get better at running honestly these shin splints though ah lemonade ooh tastes so sweet three parts Making one for me. Yeah. Do you love me? Do you not? Do you think about me every time? Cause you've been running my mind all day. Oh, as I ride through the ocean, sleep on my face, play Teddy Pendergrass, listen to the way you keep coming right back. lunchtime. I do want to come on here and talk about why it is so important to set small achievable goals. I say this in almost all of my videos, all of my self-improvement videos, that setting small achievable goals is so important. Not because I want you to belittle yourself, not because I want you to sit here and tell yourself that you can't work out five days a week. It isn't for you. You're not able to do six days a week. So say you're trying to go to the gym and it's come to a point where it's been like a whole month since you've gone or you'll start and you'll be really, really consistent for a week and then you won't go again. Giving yourself the goal of three days a week and continuing to hit that goal week after week after week is going to build your confidence. It's gonna make you feel so good and it's going to help you continue to hit that goal. That's why for so long, guys, my goal has been three to four times a week. And most weeks, I hit three times. And I'm proud of myself. I feel so great. I might not be seeing the fastest progress, but I'm doing this for my mental health. I'm doing this for my physical health. And hitting it three to four times a week has just been such an accomplishment for me, honestly. And the thing is, I'd rather work out three times a week, every single week for the whole year, than start one month and do it like five times a week one month and then fall off for two to three months and then jump back on in the summer for two months and then fall off for four months like I'd rather just have a slow consistent steady three to four times a week for the whole year than cut myself short and make myself feel horrible for not being able to do five to six times a week. And the thing is, I used to be able to do five to six times a week back when I had a little bit more time, but I don't, and it's okay. My lifestyle is so 
different now and I love my lifestyle. It's okay for me to only get it in where I can get it in. I am wanting to increase um, workouts a little bit more. I'm wanting to increase to about like four to five times a day just because I'm in a really great mental space. But blah, blah. if that becomes too much for me, then we'll bring it back down. We're gonna bring it back down. I just want you guys to feel confident in whatever goal that you pick for yourself because it's a marathon, not a sprint, and working out should be looked at like that. It should not be looked at as something that you have to just like get done every single day. It's like, it should be enjoyable, it should feel great. You should feel accomplished at the end of the week when it comes to your workout goals. Cheers to that, cheers to 5 a.m. workouts, cheers to just being our best selves this year. Like, I'm feeling so good. March is just around the corner, and baby, we're almost there. I don't have my oatmeal, I have a croissant with like ham and cheese in here. I don't really like ham usually, but this is really good. Whether it's two times a week, three times a week, going for a walk every single day, whatever that goal is for you, I hope you're accomplishing it and I hope it's making you build the confidence that you need to keep going. Love you, and you guys like my foundation? It looks so much better than the one I got earlier. It actually matches me. <laughs> I feel like that other foundation wasn't bad, it just didn't match I think that was my summer shade, and that's why I got it. But um, yeah, it was just too, it was just a shade too dark, so I got a shade lighter, and this is so much better. So I want to say this is 470 warm that I'm wearing right now. I think it's good. I usually like to go for neutrals foundations, but the warm isn't bad. I don't know. I don't even know what my shade is, girl. We'll figure it out. But anyway, I'm so happy, guys. Please don't mind my makeup. I'm trying a new lipstick and I'm just, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm gonna say this 30 million times. First of all, nothing makes me more excited to work out and stick to my routine than some new activewear. And I purchased this activewear from Azure Fit with my own money, of course. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We're gonna do a little try on haul. Like I said, nothing makes me more excited to work out than a new fit. I'm gonna link this down below. But it's like a tank, and I got the matching shorts and the matching half zip. Let's just try it out. I'm gonna be so cute in solid cork. <laughs> this is so cute. And guys, it's so buttery soft, it feels so good. And y'all know me, I'm gonna wear some shorts. I love shorts. I just wish this was more crop because you know, I'm a short girl, so like there's not much cropping going on. This is so cute, guys. Like, I got the matching sweatshirt. It's a half zip. I'm about to be so cute. Stop playing with me. I'm about to get this in other colors. Oh my god, stop playing with me. It's slightly different, but it, it, it works. Like, <laughs> this is so cute. I'm doing too much. Let me calm down. And there's pockets. I feel like, you know what I feel like? I feel like one of Rihanna's like backup dancers. Come on, Rupa, boy, boy, can you give it up? You love me. <laughs> I love that performance. That's on my mind. <laughs> That's all I do work too when no one's watching. I'm like, oh my god, this is so cute. This is just too cute. I also got a white half zip. I got makeup on the, I need to be careful. Okay, I'm gonna take this off, and then I'm gonna put on the white half zip. Oh my God. I just ate, so I'm a little bloated. Ugh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, there's no thumb holes, which that's fine. Okay guys, I like this. I'm not as obsessed with the white top as I was with the green. But I think it's really pretty. Like I think it's a really like put together look. I would wear this. This is giving more like leisure to me. Like this is giving more athleisure. Like I wouldn't wear this to work out just because I'm not trying to get like pit stains and stuff on this. So this is something that I would wear with like my Lululemon leggings to go like grocery shopping or to run errands and stuff. If I like still want to be put together, you know. Um, but yeah, just ate. But like. 
yeah, this is a vibe. I got my Whitney Simmons set in and I don't like it at all. I don't even wanna wear it. But I guess I might try it on for you guys. Not the biggest fan. I've already tried it on and I think I'm gonna return it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the leggings first. Um, first of all, honestly, I'm not really a leggings girl. These have like all of these seams going everywhere and I just don't love a seamed look. And there's pockets and I don't love pockets either. I don't know, when I'm wearing this, with this, it's giving like Teletubby. It's giving pink Teletubby. It's giving pink Power Ranger. <sighs> I don't know, it's pretty. I think the color is very pretty. And I, I mean, I like the leggings by themselves. It's just like a sports bra with the leggings. Isn't super cute. I think I'm a leggings girl. But let me let me turn on the top. This is just too like low cut. It just puts way too much attention on my tatas, and I don't like that. And together, it's just giving nothing. It's giving Power Ranger. The color is beautiful. The color is stunning. But like she said, these are rest day pieces, so they're not made to work out in. But like, I don't know. It's not my vibe. <laughs> routine while I arrange these flowers that Michael got me for Valentine's Day because I think that is one of the most important things when it comes to having a consistent workout routine that you can actually stick to. Are you enjoying your workouts? And I have these vases that I'm going to arrange them in. These are the vases for my wedding. Okay, the cute tiny vases. So I'm gonna cut these flowers down to a short point so I can like divide these and put them everywhere. I feel like one thing that has just made me like become more consistent with working out and it's become less of a chore is because I stopped looking at my fitness routine as a way to only see progress, only look good, only feel snatched. I stopped looking at it in terms of aesthetics and started looking at my fitness routine as a way of me improving my actual health, my mental health, my physical health. It has become so fun for me. It's less about aesthetics. And you have to stop looking at your routine in terms of aesthetics. I know it's hard, because obviously we all want to look good. I want to look good. I want to look great, you know? I think I'm cutting them down to this point so they can just kind of like sit tall. Looking good should just be an added bonus. It shouldn't be the like main objective to your workout. Once you get to a place where it's not about looking good and it's more about feeling good, then you're going to do it more often. Because I think like whenever I would not see progress in the past, I would just stop. I would feel like, oh my gosh, this is taking too long and I'm trying to be fine, honey. And yeah, guys, you're gonna look fine. You're gonna look like a fine gal eventually. But I need you to stop focusing so much on aesthetics and focus more on just feeling good. Focus more on the actual workout at hand. So recently, I started just making my workouts fun. Yeah, I started switching things up heavily, going to solid core more, which solid core is like so hard. Like it's not even fun. <laughs> But it's fun to me. Like, it's really, really fun to be in that environment. I like a luxury feel when it comes to my gym. Definitely Solid Core gives you that. Like, it's definitely very, like, luxurious in there. I don't know, it's always a treat when I go. I always feel like I'm treating myself to something nice when I'm going to Solid Core. One thing that really helps me a lot, look at this so far. Okay, this isn't the cutest yet, but like, let me finish these flowers. One thing that gets me so excited, though, is like, I have so many options with Class Pass. I'm able to add diversity to my routine, so I'm not just stuck doing one thing, like I'm not just stuck going to Gold's Gym. I'm able to go to Solid Core, I'm able to go to Spin, I'm able to go to all these different things. I have my water in here, everything looks so pretty. Find a workout that you love. Find a couple of workouts that you love, whether it's like Spin, or Pilates, 
or solid core or orange theory or berries or f45 something that you actually enjoy and like make it a habit like make it a habit go often and look at it as a way to like fill up your cup and less of just you trying to be a hot girl or you just trying to be fine. Results come and go, okay? I should know. Results come and go. You just need to be taking care of your body and like feeling the best that you can, honestly. Feel the best that I can. These look so good. But yeah, I just wanna look the best that I can, feel the best that I can, and just keep it consistently going because that's the most important thing. I don't wanna be working out for two weeks and then fall off and then working out for three weeks and then fall off. Like I wanna keep a consistent routine going that makes me feel good. I'm thinking about moving my workouts up from three to four times a week to four to five times a week now that I'm like, really coming into like my own and I'm being really consistent. I feel like I'm ready to move into four to five times a week. I know I said I don't care so much about aesthetics, but I do feel like I'm not challenging myself enough um, with working out. Now that I'm able to hit three times a week and I've done it consistently for so long, it's time to like move up to four to five times a week. I'm confident now, I feel great about my routine and I'm really trying to like start to challenge myself more. It's not all about aesthetics, although I feel like I could be further along in results. It's not about aesthetics, I just wanna challenge myself a little bit more so I'm pushing things up to four to five times a week, which I'm excited about. Starting to feel confident with like my filming and editing schedule, my work schedule, my workout routine, all that stuff. Like I, it's not overwhelming to me. I have like a complete grasp on everything right now. And I'm in a really good like mental space too, which is a plus. So yeah, that makes me super excited and very happy. <laughs> this vlog. Make sure that you are building a workout routine that fits your lifestyle, whatever that looks like for you. I think that with social media, Instagram, TikTok, it's so easy to get wrapped up in what we feel like we should be doing instead of what actually works for us. And I used to be a victim of this too. I felt like I needed to be working out like all the Gymshark athletes. Our lifestyles are all so different. If that doesn't fit your routine, your current routine at the time, then don't do it, okay? If you wanna spin every other day, go to spin every other day. If you want to do solid core three to four times a week, do that. Do whatever fits you, your lifestyle, what feels fun for you, what feels natural for you, and don't just follow the trends. I know it's so hard to not, especially in a world of TikTok, everything that trends, we just want to jump on it, but just know you don't have to work out like a Victoria's Secret model. You don't have to work out like a Gymshark athlete. Do what fits you. If that means going to F45 or Orange Theory or doing Rihanna's <laughs> halftime performance over and over and over again because it was a whole vibe. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. If that's what works for you, then let it be. Okay, let it be. Let it be natural. Let it be you. Your routine should be fun. It should fill up your cup. It shouldn't fill you with anxiety when you think about it. You should feel excited about the week ahead. You should feel excited about your week of workouts ahead. And that's where I am right now in my life. I just wanna feel excited about my workouts and what I'm embarking on. It should fill you up with joy. It should help you 
ease anxiety. It should help you get through the week, okay? And it should help you feel so much better that you're pouring into yourself and really taking care of your body. Because at the end of the day, that's what working out is. It's us showing up for ourselves, showing up for our bodies, and taking care of ourselves at the end of the day. It's not all about aesthetics, although aesthetics are a plus. Yeah, guys, I am gonna end this video here. I'm exhausted. Thank you for riding with me this whole entire week. This was a fun weekly vlog. I love doing weekly vlogs, not gonna lie, they're exhausting, but when I'm editing them, I feel like it really does put a lot into perspective for me, and it's really cool to see everything that we get done throughout the week, working up, working up, waking up early, working out multiple times a week. It's really cool to see what we're actually really capable of. And um, it makes me just want to push harder the following week and the following week. So yeah, let me know what you guys like to see and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for joining me. I love you immensely. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.